Determine Taylor series for the function f of a plus h is equal to sine a plus h as far as the term in h. h cubed has a value of sine 46 degrees correct to 5 decimal places. So when you are expanding the function f of a plus h, then you should know that expanding the function f of a plus h you start from f of a because it's supposed to be x plus h you are used to, isn't it? So you start from f of x. So this is a plus h, you start from f of a, isn't it? So the function f of a plus h is going to be what? f of a, then plus, you leave a space, you differentiate it for the first time, then you leave a space, you differentiate it for the second time, then you leave a space, you differentiate it for you differentiate it for the second time, you leave a space, then you differentiate for the third, third time. Then, if you differentiate for the third time, that is where h cubed is. Are you seeing that? Mm. Are we together? Yes. Good. So it means, if you differentiate it for the first time, it means you have h raised to power 1 over 1 factorial, isn't it? Mm. If you differentiate it for the second time, it means you have h squared over 2, 2 factorial. If you differentiate for the third time, it means you have h cubed over 3, Three factors. Those are just a no rhythm of mastering formulas, isn't it? Yes. So after that, you now come back and you substitute. So you are f of a plus what h is what? Sine a plus h. You come and write here, f of a plus h is equal to sine a plus h. So when your h is zero, then it will be f of a is sine sine a, isn't it? When h is not there, it means f of a is sine a. Are we together? So we already have f of a, so we want f prime of a, we want f double prime of a, and we have f f prime of a. Are we together? Good. So, what is f prime of a? If you differentiate sine a, you get cos a, isn't it? Then, if you differentiate again for the second time, if you differentiate cos a, you get negative sine a, isn't it? If you differentiate this for the third time, if you differentiate this negative sign A, you get negative cos A, meaning you put negative outside, if you differentiate sign A, you get cos A. So cos A times negative, you get negative cos. Good. So we found the values of F of A, F prime of A, F double prime of A, and F cube prime of A. Meaning where we have that F of those values, we will substitute these values, isn't it? Are we together? Now, look at this. So from here we are now seeing where there is f of a plus h, we put its value, which is sine? Sine a plus h, to be equal to what? f of a, are you seeing? So what is f of a? To be equal to sine a, then it is plus f prime of a, f prime of a is cos a times h raised to power 1, isn't it? So that is plus h cos a over 1, it is just s cos a, isn't it? Then you move here, what is f double prime of a? Negative sine a times h squared, isn't it? So that is going to be negative h squared sine over 2 factorial is just 2, isn't it? Are we together? See, 2 factorial is just 2, we are substituting. So move to the next. f triple prime of a is, where there is f triple prime of a is negative cos a, isn't it? So this is negative cos a times h cube. You get negative h, h cube cos a. Then you divide by three factorial is what? A six. We've substituted everything. Are you seeing that? Yes. Now having substituted everything, what do we do now? Having sub so having found the expansion of sine a plus h, what do we now want to do? We've been told to use this expansion to evaluate. 46 degrees, isn't it? Now, if you want to evaluate time 46 degrees, look at this. Time 46, you, you know from the cofunction identity, 46 is very close to 45 degrees, isn't it? So it means when you have sine 46 degrees, this one is the same as sine 45 degrees plus 1 degrees, isn't it? It is easier to use sine 45 degrees because in this expansion we have sine a and cos a. Are we together? Mm -hmm. But at 45 degrees, you will always note that 
sine 45 degrees is always equal to cos 45 degrees because of compunction identity. Are you seeing that? Sine 45 degrees is always equal to cos 45. The compunction identity when the sum of these two angles add up to 90 degrees, isn't it? So it means when you are a is 45 degrees, which is pi over 4, it means this sine and cos a, sine and cos a are going to be the same. Are you seeing that? Are you getting the explanation? So when you have sine 46 degrees, that is sine 45 plus 1 degrees because sine 45 is equal to cos 45. Are we together? So change this degrees into pi radian. So it means your sine 46 degrees is going to be sine 45 degrees is the same as pi over 4. 45 pi divided by 1 is isn't it? Are we together? Then change 1 degree. Change 1 degree into pi radian. That is the value of h. H cannot be what? Cannot be in degrees in pi radians. Are we together? Because you see, this is sine a plus h, meaning we found our a is pi over 4. Are we seeing that? We are now looking for a plus h. H is 1 degree. That 1 degree must go into pi radians. Are we together? So, what is 1 degree in pi radians? See, 1 times pi divided by 180. What do you get? 0 point. 1 degree if you convert into pi radians. 1 times pi divided by 180. 0.0? Like that, isn't it? So if you look at this, sine 45 degrees is in which form? It is in the form of sine, sine what? A plus H. It is in the form of sine A plus H. So it means our A is pi over 4. Our H is 0 0.01745. Are we together? Are we together? So you can see this sine pi over 4, sine 45 degrees is the same as cos 45 degrees. So what is sine pi over 4? Hmm? So look here. Look here. Look here. Look what we found here. We found that sine 46 degrees is the same as 45 degrees plus 1 degree, isn't it? And we've converted 45 degrees is pi over 4, and 1 degrees we found is 0 0.01745, isn't it? Then we know if we now want to compare, if we now have sine j plus h to be equal to, where is our sine here? This is sine, isn't it? To be equal to sine pi over that, isn't it? So it means you, when you have here sine a plus h will be equal to what? Will be equal to sine pi over 4 plus 0 0.01745 a plus h sine a plus h is sine pi over 4 plus 0 0.01745. So from there you can deduce the value of a is pi over 4. Pi over 4, which is that 45 degrees. Are you seeing? Then you can see the value of h is what? 0 0.01745. Are we together? So it means when you are now looking for sine a, when you are now looking for sine a, meaning you put the value of a sine a is sine pi over 4. Are you seeing that? The sine a, a is pi over 4. Sine a is sine pi over 4, which is what? Which is, what is the value they are giving you? Root 2 over 2, special angle. That is 1 over root. Yeah. Root 2 over 2, isn't it? Then you go again, we here also need cos a in that expansion, isn't it? What is cos a? Cos a is cos pi over 4. The calculator will still give you again root 2 over 2. That is the reason why this 46 degrees, we can express this anyway. We can even say it is 50 minus 5 degrees. Can that will be 50 minus 4 degrees? It's still 46 degrees, isn't it? Even 44 degrees plus 2 degrees is still 46 degrees, isn't it? But we are choosing an angle which is easier to work with, and the value of it must also be very small, isn't it? So that is why with the reason why we are choosing 45 is close to 46, because 45 is where h is equal to, is where sin a is equal to cos a, because you can see sin a is root 2 over 2 and cos a is root 2 over 2. Are you seeing? Are we together? So it means the moment now sin a plus h, when you are now going to put sin 46 degrees, 46 degrees you see, We've expressed it in the form a plus h, a plus h, isn't it? Yes. 
So it means where there is sine A, we put the value of sine A, which is root 2 over 2. Are you seeing? Yeah. Where there is H, we put the value of H, which is 0 0.01475. So you see, sine A and cos A are the same, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. So it means sine A and cos A, if they are the same, they can be factorized outside. Are you seeing? So it means we are going to have root 2 over 2 in bracket, sine A is root 2 over 2. Here you remain with 1, isn't it? Cos A is root 2 over 2, meaning then you remain with the plus, plus H, isn't it? Then here sine A is root 2 over 2, meaning here you remain with minus H squared over 2. Are you seeing? Are we together? Yes. Then here is cos A is root 2 over 2, isn't it? Meaning here you remain with minus H cubed over 6, because you factorize out root 2 over 2, isn't it? Yes. Are we together? Yes. So from there, what do you get? Your H now becomes the answer, so you say, Zero point when you are equal to zero point zero one seven four five is equals to answer. Then you go root two over two in bracket one plus answer minus answer squared over two minus answer cubed over six. Can you do that? So what have you found when you substitute? Zero point seven one. You are told in how many decimal places? Five. So that is 0 0.71933. 1933, isn't it? Are we together? 0 0.71934. You rounded this off into 3, 4. So 0 0.71934. So have you seen how we've evaluated sine 46 degrees? Yes. From, the H, H, yes. sine 46 degrees. Yes. From the expansion of H, A plus H. In most cases, they will say X plus H, isn't it? See here they have told us a plus h, meaning you just use the variable they have used, isn't it? Yeah. Very good. So that is wonderful.